Hi, this video tutorial I will cover buffered streams. If you use unbuffered input output streams, for example file input stream or file output stream for read and write operation, then each read or write request is directly handled by the underlying operating system. This can make a program much less efficient since each such request often triggers disk access, network activity or some other operation that is relatively expensive. We can use buffered input output streams for read or write operations and buffered input output streams are more efficient. Buffered input streams read data from memory known as buffer. The native input API for example file input stream is called only when the buffer is empty. Buffered output streams write data to a buffer and the native output API for example file output stream is called only when the buffer is full. Using wrapping technology, the unbuffered streams can be converted into buffered streams. Here uh, buffered input stream wraps file input stream. Here uh, buffered output stream wraps file output stream. To create uh, buffered byte streams, we can use uh, buffered input stream and uh, buffered output stream. To create uh, buffered character streams, we can use uh, buffered reader and uh, buffered writer. Using flush method of output stream, we can flush the stream manually. And this is about buffered streams and thanks for watching.